Hi there, in this video I'm going to talk about how to basically values in Stamp Manage. So uh, I'm adding some stamps from Haiti here. Let me go in the Add Stamp dialog and as you can see here when you click on a variety it tells you the values. Uh, let's say you don't agree with the min very fine value of 11. You can always change it manually. Uh, let's say you think you have it at $12. You just enter that manually and the value is going to be set to $12 for that particular stamp um, as you can see here now another question we get often is how do you change the values in the stamp managed database itself and that's a little bit more complicated so let me go over how to do that there's basically two ways to do it first of all you go to the stamp managed catalog here you open it up you can open up the latest value database 2019 the, the one you're currently using in most cases if you have 2019 edition of stamp manage obviously it takes a while to open up and so let me go down to Haiti open it up general issues now what now in this display here it tells you, it shows you the complete value it's like a value spreadsheet it tells you how many you currently own of that particular variety and what you can do if you want to change the values uh, basically you just click in the column you want to change so let's say you want to enter a value for mint fine of fourteen dollars you can do that now I'm hitting the tab key the tab key moves me to the next column if I want to move to the, the stamp or the row below I just hit enter and just click keep clicking on the tab key until I get to the column I want to change so let's say I want to add uh, $14 to use set used fine is $14 and it's really that simple um, now another way to do that is in the tool stamp data manager go to Haiti general issues again now I'm going to click on stamps text this time and you'll notice when you click on stamps text it uh, there's at the bottom here you've got a values column now it doesn't have all the values you'll see in the in the display as you notice you're not going to see a line pair and PNC strip and that's basically because as you can see it's already incredibly cramped and we couldn't really fit anything else uh, we'll try and do we'll try and fix that in the future um, anyways so same thing you can just change the value uh, click on the tab key it goes to the next column so um, okay that's it for today thanks for watching bye bye